Hello, I'm Edwina from My Craft Orchard. Welcome to the 12 weeks of Christmas. Let's continue with our planning, shall we? So today I'm going to have a look at um, lists again. Now, if you didn't catch my last video, it was uh, making a list of lists that you needed. Just having that brain uh, storming session to think, do I need a list for this? What list do I need for that? And getting them all set up, prepared in your journals, ready for um, when somebody asks for something or you have an idea or you see something on the telly or magazines and that sort of thing. What we're going to look at today is lists that you can put in your handbag, your wallet, your bag um, for when you're out and about uh, shopping. Also, these are lists that you could actually give to somebody. Now let me explain while I set these up. So let me start. We I'm using um, these are four by six by four revision cards. So they're like your index cards, um, nice and sturdy. And I'm just using plain white uh, with lines on. And as you can see, I got them from the works for a pound. Um, and there's actually 50 cards in there, so more than enough for for what you need. Okay, and so all I'm going to do, and you can go to town on these, you really can, you really can go to town, you can get your stamps out and you can get your um, stickers, as you can see I'm using uh, washi and I'm going to put a bit of washi across the top of each of these cards. And you can put them on the back as well if you want to. Um, it's totally up to you. Now, I'm actually using washi um, for different people. So that one will probably be for my son because it's all, it's, it, it's childish as it were. <laughs> okay, and then this one, uh, because I, I really like this sort of florals and that sort of thing. This one will probably be for my mom because she loves making holly wreaths at this time of year and she's made them for years. Okay, so I'm just decorating the cards and then on each card I'm going to write the name of the person that it's going to be for. Now, it could be that you write their shopping, their Christmas list on here. So when you're out and about, you can say, oh yes, what have I got to get for mom or dad? Oh yeah, I've still got to get um, booze or chocolates. And because it's on your, your index card, you can have a look at that and say, oh yes, I've, I've, I need to get that. Or you think, oh, I've still got to get booze or chocolates for mom and dad, but you've already got them so you go into your list and you go oh actually I've already got those things because you've crossed them off genius don't you think I think it's a brilliant idea and I intend to use this for other things as well what I intend to use them for is I'm going to actually give one of these decorated cards to my sister with my name on the top of it so it will say Edwina on the top of it okay and on that I will write let me make a let's start shall we let me show you what it is I'm going to do let's have a look let's start with put my name on first shall we so I'm going to put my name on, which is Dwee, short for Edwina, that's what my sister calls me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the things I would like off my sister. Now, just a bit of a background, my sister's a total planner babe, the same as I am. <laughs> so if I said I would like astrology, she would know what that means. 
okay however if I said that to my mom she'd have no idea so this is pen my sister gave me and as you can see it's almost run out so this is a Muji gel ink ballpoint uh, 0 0.35 black so I'm actually going to write that on this card which I'm going to give to Deborah and say Deb this is a pen that I would like please and then what she can do is when she's on the internet um, or out in a shop or anything like that she can think oh wait a minute didn't Edwina want some stationery oh yes that's right oh there was a specific pen that she wanted let's pull out the sheet and let's have a look so if you have a look I have written got my, my washi I've got my name and in blue I've written um, Muji gel ink ballpoint pen on there so she knows that that's the pen I want the other pen I would like is one of these I got this out of a um, subscription box from uh, Oops -a Daisy there is an unboxing of it um, which I will link below and this is a jelly roll moonlight pen in green so I'm going to write that on there as well jelly moonlight and I'm going to put various colours okay because I've already got a green and you know I, I, I like to write in blue I outline in black but I also as you, if you have a as you can see from this Deborah bought me this last year actually <laughs> as you can see I, I use purple and pink and uh, green and orange for various um, things that I, I do as well and I've got rulers and a, a pair of scissors in there um, and a pencil obviously so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to give that to Deborah and say here's a few things if you're wondering what I'd like okay so for my mom again mom's not a, a planning person so she wouldn't understand exactly what I want but if I wanted something specific and I have a, a rough idea of um, the the sort of thing that she would buy or um, a rough idea of the budget that she um, will spend and lots also we go out shopping as a family we didn't last year obviously because of covid but this year we are it's all booked up yeah can't wait um <laughs> so i could give her this and then when when we're out and about i can say to her, oh this is the thing I, I wanted and she might get it there and then or she then have an idea and go online and buy it or or whatever so the first thing that i want is pjs actually i want a nighty do you want PJs or do you want a nighty this year? Probably a nighty. I prefer nighties. Okay, so I'd write nighty and then the size so she knows what size to get. So if you have kids and you're telling your mom, you know, their grandma uh, what it is they would like, so for instance on Harry's card here, I could write Harry and then I could put PJs. Uh, 11 age 11 to 12 and then she can have this card in fact do you know what I'm going to do that I will write Harry on this side here let's do that in a different color have colored pens let's use them <laughs> I do like my colored pens let's put Harry over this side okay and I know that he wants um, PJs uh, short sleeve shorts on the bottom and he's going to have to have uh, 11 to 12 even though he's 6 he's a big lad um, so I'll write that on there and then she if if we don't get them while we're out shopping she knows that's the size it's on my card I can just hand it to her 
and then she can go along and go all oh, right yes so edwina wanted a nighty harry oh yeah pj short sleeve uh, short bottoms age 11 to 12 and she's got that then so the next question is i've got all these lovely cards and i'm going to have one for all of my family so i've got one for harry and one for Har for, for stuart and one for my sister and my mom and dad and all all of those sort of people what am i going to do them having a load of cards in my bag like that they're just going to get lost aren't they so here's a few ideas of how to store them so the first one is and this yes it's going to shine on my light i do apologize for the the light but it is a plastic sleeve like that and you could just drop the cards inside like that. now i use these in my planners quite a lot so he's you know i've, I've put lists on them or I, I store cards on them like this um and they actually came as a pack of five um, and they're 152 by 102 millimeters so they actually as you can see that that size card goes in there and i could just drop that in my bag or I use it as a bookmark in my planner or or anything so that that's the first idea that i had the second one was to use a christmas card so I save anything that I like, so I really like that design and I really like this design from last year's Christmas cards. And what you can do is you can just use a card and slip them in like that. Okay. And then um, you could put a, a clip on them or a... a um, paper clip or something like that and that or a band around them and that would hold them all nice and it looks pretty in your bag as well and I have a, a different size as well um, here and also the beauty of using a, a Christmas card is you could actually put your lists on this side and, and you could even put a piece of, of uh, note paper or your sticky notes um, on this side like that so you've always got a piece of paper to write extra notes or things as well so that was my idea for that um, something else you could use is um, an envelope now this is a I think it was from out of a dear Santa kit that I bought and they tend to give you a couple of envelopes and that sort of thing which are left over and so you could just put a card in an envelope like that and then that because it's it's and you could write on it um list christmas lists present lists that sort of thing to do list don't forget you could always put to do lists on uh, these cards as well so errands that you need to do you could organize your whole christmas on an index card if i'm honest <laughs> do love index cards the other the, the 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 other one i thought about is you get a piece of card I'm not going to do it, but you could just fold that in half. Um, like if you don't have a Christmas card, and you could use that and then use all the bits and bobs that you have, some stickers or some tags or things like that, to, to decorate the card um, or the front of your envelope. Like that. Um, to store all your index cards. So, I think it's a fabulous idea. I will be using this myself. Um, I don't want to use a card or the plastic sleeves. Um, don't know. I'll decide. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the um, twelve weeks of Christmas planning that I'm doing, um, we've still got things like traditions. We're going to have a talk about, and we're going to have uh, a talk about cleaning rotors and lists like that food obviously so if you enjoyed this please give a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and uh, i'll see you next time bye